Hey guys, it's Lauren Losing. Um, this is not my official Saturday Sessions video. I am going to do a food haul like I've been promising recently for the past few weeks. And um, in my last food haul mini-series, uh, I mentioned that uh, for nursing school I had to learn all the conversions um, between like milliliters and tablespoons and cups and all that stuff. And I said I might post a cheat sheet online, but I think I'm just going to go over it um, in my video. So get a pencil and paper ready if you um, would like to write this down. So I'm going to set you down and step back and we'll go from there. Uh, I'm going to make the conversions video separate and then I'm going to do my food haul video, which will probably become two parts because... I'm long-winded. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I am going to start by uh, going over the teaspoons and tablespoons. That's my father in the background. <laughs> um, so, milliliters and um, cubic centimeters, so mLs and cc's are actually the same thing. Um, medical professionals tend to use the term cc's even though they are trying to phase out the term cc. Um, if you ever see that, like if someone is ever saying, oh, take five cc's of this, it's five mLs, it's the same thing. Um, so one teaspoon is five mLs. Three teaspoons equal one tablespoon. So one tablespoon is 15 mLs. To get one fluid ounce, that is 30 mLs. So that is two tablespoons. For six teaspoons, <clears throat> um, I actually don't have a quarter cup right here, uh, I must have used it last night, um, but a quarter cup is two ounces, which is 60 mLs, it's actually technically 59, but we're going to say 60, 60 mLs, and that is four tablespoons. So. To remember, it's pretty easy to remember from there, and then it gets a little more difficult, obviously, as you increase the volume if you're trying to figure out the tablespoons. Um, but if you remember that one quarter, so one fourth of a cup is four tablespoons, then it's kind of easy to go from there. So obviously, a half of a cup is double a quarter cup, so that means it's double the amount of tablespoons, so it's eight tablespoons. Um, that's just the way that I remember. Um, a third of a cup is where it gets a little more tricky because a third of a cup is actually 2.66 ounces. Um, so a third of a cup is technically two tab excuse me, four tablespoons and one tablespoon and one teaspoon, I believe. So that's where it gets a little confusing. Um, but it's doable. Um, and then I'll go over the uh, ounces. So uh, one cup is eight ounces. Um, so obviously half a cup is four ounces. Like I said, quarter cup is two ounces, th three fourths of a cup is six ounces, um, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty much all I have to say about conversions. Um, when it comes in handy, especially when you're doing like something like egg beaters, um, where they measure it by three tablespoons, which is is a little bit under. Um, a quarter of a cup so to be able to um, do that kind of math is
comes in handy. And then also um, for things like pasta sauce or something like that, that um, they measure in a quarter cup usually or a half cup. And I know for a lot of us, we don't use as much as that serving even. So um, like for a sauce or something, um, I usually tend to use three tablespoons. So um, if you measure something in a quarter of a cup and you remember that four tablespoons is a quarter of a cup, so three, three tablespoons is three quarters of a serving. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions on it, just leave a comment below. Um, I really apologize to people um, for not responding to comments. Um, I am YouTube illiterate <laughs> and uh, since they changed their formats for replying to questions and you can't just like kind of like hit reply. I, I go on the internet mostly from my phone too so I'm sure it's easier when you go on from the computer but um, I can't figure out how to respond to people so I apologize. I will try to get on that if anyone can give me a tip on how to uh, respond to people. That would be fabulous. Um, Alright, so I will be doing my food haul video next and I'll see you in a second.